Hello to whoever is watching this. Welcome to another installment of my guide to ARMA 2 editing. I'm going to be going through uh, waypoints in this one, I think. Yes. Click on waypoints on the sidebar, press F4. Highlight a unit. Double click anywhere on the map to insert a waypoint. And this brings up this little menu box. I'm going to do my best to go through what, uh, give a brief description of what all these little uh, buttony things do. The first one is select type and this is just basically what type of waypoint you will be spawning. I'm going to go through these in a little more depth, the types of waypoints in another video, but let's keep it on move just for simplicity. Waypoint order. Um, well, it is just that. If you spawn a succession of waypoints you can change the order of which waypoint the unit goes to first by rearranging the order in that drop-down menu. What a very concise explanation. I will give a little bit of a demonstration just to show. Our first waypoint is a move. The second waypoint will make a destroy waypoint. Notice how the move waypoint was number naught and the waypoint destroy is number one. Uh, okay, so say we want him to move to the destroy waypoint and then to the move waypoint. We click on the move waypoint and we put it in front of destroy at number two and in theory, ah yes, it's now the second waypoint. So he goes to the destroy and then that. To change it back, we put destroy in front of move and it goes back. It's quite a... It's easy to get muddled with this waypoint order business, but um, give it a little going over yourself and I'm sure you'll figure it out. The next one is description. This text will display on the heads-up display when the waypoint is currently active, which basically means when you're in-game and you're looking at the waypoint, whatever you put in the description, whatever that text will be, will turn up and you will on the waypoint when you're looking at it. So say if you say put hi there when you're in game and looking at it, hi will be the description of the waypoint. God I spent too long explaining that. Oh well. Combat mode. Right. The combat mode is just basically what combat mode the leader will um enforce when this waypoint I think when the waypoint becomes active. There. So when um in this case he won't start hold he won't change to hold fire um when he gets there. He will be on hold fire as soon as because that's his next waypoint. And um that is very similar to uh formation, except for it's the formation of the group. Obviously this is one man, so he cannot be in anything, any kind of formation, but um, it works in the same way. Speed, I think this applies more to vehicles than anything else, but um, limited will mean he walks, uh, normal runs, full sprint, but pardon me there, I do apologize about that. Um, yes, speed is pretty much the same as them. Behavior, this is quite interesting. You can, um, it affect, it behaves in the same way as these, whereas like it's, it will change once the waypoint becomes active, but it just means, this just defines how the unit will react. Because careless, I've tried that and the enemy units just don't shoot at you if they're on careless safe they'll have their guns on their back and they'll walk around and but you know they will react to enemies and aware and combat and stealth they pretty much speak for themselves placement radius oh this is interesting um just to add a little bit of randomness to the film the scenario get my words like james and you can change the placement radius. And um, this is measured in meters. And by changing the placement radius, you see this uh, 
dotted line around the outside? Well, dotted circle. That this waypoint could appear anywhere in that circle. That's basically how um, how placement radius works. Completion radius is similar in the fact that it brings up a line, a circle, a circumference even, but um, it's a solid line and that is measured in meters and that is the uh, the way the distance to the waypoint at which the waypoint will be considered completed. So that means that the unit that we have selected wouldn't have to get to the very center of the waypoint. As soon as he gets past that into that circle, it's considered completed. I do apologize if this is not very interesting, but you know, it's a very dry subject. Anyway, timeout. Ooh, this is where things get interesting. And um, what I found out about this is it works similar to the triggers uh, um, option, because this option is available in triggers. And, um, well, basically, once the waypoint would normally be considered complete, the waypoint will wait for a specified time period before it is completed and the group is allowed to go to the next waypoint. The time is defined by the min, mid, and max. Um, say we put 1 there, 10 there, and 5 there. The ma minimum it will wait before it... With these settings, the minimum it will wait before moving on to the next waypoint is 1 second. The max will be 10, but most likely it will be somewhere around about 5. That's basically how that works. Um, there is another option around here that should be under completion radius, but um, isn't because I have not put this waypoint over the building, is um, position in house. This, let's see if we can't get that up to explain it a little bit. Uh, yes. Here we go. Look, position in house. This drop down menu basically allows you to pick which room, room the uh, unit will go to. It's fairly simple, fairly useful. But um on onwards, onwards to condition. Condition. This script code block allows for the creation of additional conditions before the waypoint will be completed. That's for all your scripts then. On act. What I didn't realise is that this actually means on activation. And what that does is, well, it's possible to define everything that will be executed when the unit um, reaches the waypoint. Again, basically just more script, really. And speaking of script, look what's next. Script exactly, yes. Well, no, it's just script. It's not exactly there. What am I talking about? Madness. Ah, yes, script. Let's uh, let's have a think. This is for additional script. Um, it allows you to select a script to execute. I don't. I haven't used it that much, but that's the best I've found out about it. But you will only use this same um, waypoint this uh, box if the waypoint type at the very top is actually scripted. There you go, scripted. Click. Now, now we get on to the last few bits. Finally getting there, last few bits. Let's have us some fun. Or not. Um, basically, these options just mean uh, whether this waypoint will show up on the map in uh, whatever difficulty settings in cadet mode or always show. 
because you see how you see it there if you have it showing cadet mode you will see it on the map like that and um, it's always best to have it on never show because kind of breaks the realism breaks the immersion of it but that's basically the best I know about waypoints if you have anything to add or any questions please leave it down in the comments if you've enjoyed this please give me a thumbs up and if you're simply just wasting time at work um, get back to work bye bye thank you very much